Hey, brothers and sisters, how we doing this Saturday morning? Man, time or timing, what's more important? Uh, yeah, that's right, bro. That bitch is all mine. So is that back there. <laughs> Anyhow, about a quarter mile back down yonder is where I live. So time or timing? I've been thinking about this story. Um, man, so we have, we had this crazy story, you know, like a lot of us, um, we have situations in our family and stuff, different things, blah, 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 that, uh, that have happened. And so a lot of, you know, um, what's up, Mark? A lot of you guys know that, man, I started my first business 16 years ago. I bought a hundred dollar VHS videotape. Um, on how to fix hail damage on cars. And I taught, I taught myself the trade. I bought the videotape, I bought used tools, and a whole lot of hustle. I literally, I quit my $20 an hour job 16 years ago and just started beating the streets. My, my major goal was to make $100,000 a year. Um, it wasn't the right time. But the timing was really good, and it wasn't no fault of mine. I, you know, it wasn't it wasn't my doing that the timing was right. It was just, it was good seizing. Uh, there was a lot of work out there. Um, the environment was was right. The timing was right in order for me to be successful. Um, so I can't I can't take 100% credit. I can take my part of the credit was honoring my commitment, my word that I wanted to make a hundred thousand um, dollars in this new career and go out and hustle. So I honored my part of the commitment. So, you know, this year now, you know, 16 years later, um, you know, we've been fighting, I'll just, I'll just call it some evil um, to protect my children and so on um, and protect my family, protect me from me and me from the world, my family from the world. And that's why we have a gate on our driveway because we live 10 miles from town, we, you know, to keep, you know, evil, that we can from my family. And so I've been going through this internal dialogue, this story, uh, and I've been seeing this reference. It, timing is more important than time because time is just a made up concept to have a reference point for your life, for experiences. Either remember back when or hey, we're going to, but there's only now. And so the timing, last year I had, uh, I, I just was call it, it could be called drama, but it, it wasn't. It was experiences, opportunities for me to protect and serve my family. And in my business, it's seasonal. So I have a small window of time to make money and it's a, it's a pretty high priority that it's a pretty high stress because you only have like three to six months in this industry, the way we do it to really make 90% of your income. And so in that three to six months, it gets pretty stressful to a lot of people. So last year I had an opportunity um, to protect and serve my family. And I did that. And in that opportunity, I missed an opportunity to provide $100,000 income. And so you know, we're building our brand, um, Baby Beard Club, which is you know, a lot of you guys have seen the pictures about the beards and beard oils and beard memes. That's what that's about. Um, is my wife and I started a brand called Baby Beard Club because it aligns with my purpose to help serve men and grow men and share stories with men on how to be a man. And so when I realized that alignment, that also takes investment. It takes investment of energy. It takes investment of time, emotion. Uh, and money, the money is just uh, money is just a result of energy. And so, I'm gonna finish this up on my way to the blacktop. So we live a couple miles from the closest paved road. And so, you know, going through this, you know, at this point in the year, I keep getting, I get down on myself just a little bit. I was like, man, you know. I've been doing this 16 years and why am I in this position? 
You see, because financially, I'm not where I want to be. There's stress in certain areas because I've, I have expended energy in, in different ways, but then I get to thinking about it and I'm, I'm talking to myself and I'm replaying, I'm replaying the story and it's what uh, Maxwell Maltz talks about in the book Psycho Cybernetics is that our, our brain, our gray matter is just like, um, it's like a hard drive and it records all the videos of our life so that we can go back and replay them to reinterpret them so that we can form a story and then we get to choose how the story is told. So this last year, I got to thinking about it. I was like, holy shit, I had the opportunity to lose $100,000. When 16 years ago, I wanted the opportunity just to make $100,000. So last year, with in one two-day period, because it was a high-stress, high environment, and the situation, the circumstances just they they led to a, a path that I missed the opportunity I had the opportunity in my hand and it was it was handed to somebody else to make a hundred thousand dollars and I'm thinking man I had the opportunity to make a hundred thousand because of who I am and who I, I showed up to be because of the talent that I have developed and refined over the years because I have showed up consistently because of the person I am I had the opportunity to make a hundred thousand dollars. I still do. You know, I have opportunities to make millions of dollars. Um, as a matter of fact, somebody just ordered beard oil because I just got a notification above the screen here that somebody just went online and bought some oil. Um, and so that's my big purpose right now, and that's why I haven't been really active on here a lot. Is we only have so much energy, only have so much focus. Anybody that has been uber, uber successful has had amazing focus. So my focus has been on traffic, finding ways to get people in front of Baby Beard Club. Because one, it serves my purpose called Armored Up Man, the community to help equip men with the wisdom and discernment so that they can protect what goes in their eyes, their ears, before it gets to their heart. And they can have discernment, have judgment, have wisdom, a solid foundation. And we're gonna do that by selling, like Joel says, a million dollars worth of beard oil. Because then I have a million dollars worth of customers that I can market a message to of true manhood. Who's thinking are you thinking? Um, so, I was just thinking to myself, you know, this has been playing in my mind a few times. This is going to help more people than just me if I share the damn story. So you guys need to quit being selfish and thinking about yourself and what people are going to think about you because you are a thousand different people to a thousand different people. You get that? You are a thousand different people to a thousand different people. A thousand different people are all gonna look at you differently. So you're a thousand different people to a thousand different people. That's a million. So don't worry about what people think, man. Go out there and tell your story because the more you tell your story, the more you hear it, and the more you think, I don't think that way. So I'm at the blacktop. It's probably more important to pay the attention now to uh, the road than it is the camera. Um, so man, God bless you guys, man. I appreciate y'all. I love you. If you like this, share it out. Um, if you got a beard, go buy some damn beard oil. Uh, if you don't have a beard, go buy some beard oil. It's good for your hair. Hey, Ladon, how you doing? I'm out of here. I'm at the, uh, um, I'm getting ready to hit a paved road. So I got to pay attention. Peace out all. Love you.